Okay, well... How am I for health? Yeah, she could do with the heal. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was using the PlayStation controller before to play Animal World. Oh, but there's a bed in the, uh, the locker room, isn't there? I'll use that. I think the, the bird problem in Animal World, like, there's probably a way to solve it on, the, on a wall somewhere that I have to find. Uh, I'll figure it out. I don't know. Some, of, like I said, some of those puzzles, you need to be a detective. <laughs> Solve them. So I really have to uh, go through this many fights. I hope there's like a plot twist that skips me ahead, but we'll see. Okay, I'm not going to do the voice initially. <laughs> well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next op opponent will be... Ranked 17th in the Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them flower points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see how you deal without none of them fancy pants moves. Get in there and show me something, son. There's so many matches, like, I, I will kill my voice <laughs> to that voice. I thought that character was going to have a minor role, so I gave him something funny, but... Nope. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and... The Spike Terra Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to battle. Okay, no problem. Oh. <laughs> Did I use the wrong hammer? I'm not gonna go through another battle. <laughs> Force of habit, I'm too used to using that hammer type. Flower points. Yeah, well done, idiot. <laughs> it's okay, I saved. So anyway, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is where I just started playing, and certainly nothing dumb happened. Nope, nothing dumb. Yeah, I know. I could have won the fight either way, it's just... Is he gonna do the same thing? Oh, it's different. It's random, I guess. Alright, I just gotta appeal to the crowd. Well, that's... easier. I 
Mm, drink my tea while the sisters are doing its thing. What's different this is the first time I'm doing this? Exactly. Now I can use the FP this time. <laughs> Um, okay, hold on. Okay, just use a pill once. Ah, too late. It's not going to be useful here. I'll, I'll do this just to charge for the next uh, battle. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Um, okay, swap partner. We'll go coops. <laughs> I can't get that. Alright, I'm going to go normal hammer just in case it misses. Yeah, good. experience oh I didn't use tattle ah it doesn't matter I'll get it from uh, the dude later we got ourselves a winner the great Gonzalez we won cool here's your fight money seven coins mr. Gonzalez Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish baiting down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Again, dude, man. You are just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Always rest. I'm guessing there might be a shortcut, we'll see. Well, oh boy howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fighter? Okay then, your next opponent will be rank 16. 
the dead bones. Now listen up. Yeah. Oh. Right, five turns. Okay, I, I forgot to read it, but I got it. Okay. The bone banging rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the dead bones, but they're already dead. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. They're gonna take the skin off your bones. Get your souls ready to battle. Okay, they've already been paddled. Um. I'm not going to mess it up this time. Damn it! <laughs> Nearly. I can't get that last one. That should be fine. Overkill, what overkill? We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? We rock. Well, the money's increasing. It's a lot of battles. Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, dude. Uh, double G man. You're the real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, just tell them King K that to back it up. Bizarre! Ah, it hurts! Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, yeah, just fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure there. Ow! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, all you. Mommy, out of the way here! Wow, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man. This is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Well, boy, how to Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank 15, Spike Storm. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid any. Now listen, son. I want in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of those flower points. You understand flower points? <laughs> you heard me. No flower points. None of those fancy pants moves. Eh? Get in there and show me how to do something, son. <laughs> I don't know. Um, flower points. No 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 flower points. For our next battle, we got the Great Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Spike Storm. We're gonna Spike Bomb you into submission, punks. Okay. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. 
Steal thy tongue, I was never gonna do it. That's a lucky two. Uh, it's a member of the Cooper clan that rides on clouds. Max HP is five, attack is two, defense is zero. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs will slowly hatch into spinies, so beat Lucky 2 before fighting the spinies. Ah, oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? It's a, it's a good question. No flower points! <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I wasn't gonna do it. Paddle, thankfully, doesn't count as flower points. That's spiny. Basically, a spike-covered Koopa. Ugh. Looks painful. Max HP 3, attack 3, defense 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, the defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so you try using a power block or some other item. I mean, I can use flowers. I'll use a dizzy doll. Whoa. That's... That's not good. I don't have... I don't think I have a power block. Um... Uh-oh. Well, I can't use points. This is a problem. This is a problem. I think I can use this move. This'll work. Why does it always happen at that point? <laughs> Every time. Oh. Um. Okay, hold on. I just realized that thing was on defense, so it didn't die. I'm gonna have to wait until I have special again because the problem is I can't use flower points, so. <laughs> Rigged a little. I'm just terrible at anything that involves 
a bunch of inputs needing to be pressed at a very specific timing. When it reaches a certain speed, I, I get overwhelmed. of inputs away. I thought I had it that time. <laughs> We've got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. We won go. Here's your money of 10 coins. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. I'm going to be able to afford all the hot dogs I want after this. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside's getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know their hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some s serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to snack out on one. Man, dude just knew what I was thinking. It's been a while since I've had a fancy hot dog. Maybe tomorrow I'll get one. It, usually on Fridays there's a food truck that sets up nearby. Not always, but sometimes. I might, like... Cause it's, uh, they do chili dogs. But they also do this mac and cheese hot dog that's over the top. But maybe I could try that. It's crazy. Never had a fancy hot dog. It's quite good, but man, like, they, they put you to sleep. I want you to let yourself get damaged at least three times. It's just so dang boring when the match is one-sided. Are you fixing the match? It has been a long week, so I think a hot dog would go nice. I have my lunch sorted tomorrow. I don't have dinner sorted, so maybe for that. For our next battle, we got the great merciless execution of the great Gonzalez and the grim death burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the handed overs. We aren't going to lose the likes of you. I'll do the guy's voice that I was doing yesterday. Um, once it gets closer to the end, because I cannot keep that voice up for like an extended amount of time. You know, it's basically water from Star Wars. <laughs> I figured this dude was shifty enough to get, get that kind of voice. I hope they don't steal stuff. That's a bandit. The 
scumbag tries to bump into you, grab coin. Oh, that's not fair. But they want me to get hit three. T that's annoying. <laughs> I have to take. I have to allow myself to take a hit, otherwise. Wow, that that is that is irritating. Okay, that's three. Oh no, you you are not, sir. Uh oh. No, we we are going for. Continue bonking first until you miss the action command. And we'll just go normal headlong. Oh no. Oh, come on, man. I wouldn't have let that happen if the wind condition <laughs> didn't force me to. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. HP 8, attack 3, defense 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. Um... Oh my god, I messed that up. I, every time I fail! We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. <laughs> Be now, Biggie. Oh, we lost an item. And it was a good one, too. Here's your fight money, your 10 coins. I guess I, I get my money back, but... The rank went up because you met the conditions. If you'll excuse me, I must get going. Did you hear the latest G-Man? My boys said they saw a stunning babe having the juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice, I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. Seriously? Should I be going other places between rounds? I thought I was imprisoned here. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. Is this dude like supposed to be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson? At least like a walk. The juice bar, huh? Nice, no, stop that at once. This behavior is unacceptable in a food stuff. I insist you desist. What the? No, please, come back to me. Someone help! My rare imported egg has escaped. Please catch it. Oh, I stopped this thing. Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. I insist you come down at once, Egg. How can am I to reach you there? Fly like a common sparrow? I mean, look at that hot dog. That's got, like, quark. It'd have some kind of relish in there, I'm sure. Mustard, ketchup.
looks great. Hammer! No? Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eating, little eggy waggy. It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? <laughs> Let there be hot dog. Help the little guy. Well, if you're gonna say that, Mario, then I guess we should help. Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome, did you hear that? Little Eggy Weggy, you're free. See you around. Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You want to follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? Okay. You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins apiece, may I tempt you? Yeah. My hot dogs cost a mere pittance of ten coins apiece, may I tempt you? I have two already. Thank you ever so. Oh, there's that phone booth that tells you the weather and calls you an idiot. A marvel of modern technology. Frank to her? Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion. The fighter, long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Okay, I figured. Well, it said babe at the juice bar. That was, I guess, the girl. But we've seen her before. This crate has a star icon on it. No. Okay, it's just thought, maybe. I should turn off the animal well brain and not <laughs> think that everything's a secret. I guess let's go back to fighting. Maybe between rounds I should check, because it looks like there's stuff that happens out here. Now we have egg. Sitting there. I thought the egg was going to get into bed with me. <laughs> Guess it's just chilling. I like that it's the GBI start noise. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be. 13. The Mind Bogglers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of those special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go grandstanding. Alright, so I can't use my Earthquake. Is the egg gonna follow me? 
Guess so. Oh no, maybe it didn't. Um, so we know one of them. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the great entanglers. Yep, a fight to the finish. It's the same text every time, except this. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Oh, they've all been tattled. Cool. Hammer. Um, head bonk. I'm guessing it failed. Ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. What did you expect, how we rocked? You know, I can't help but think that this is a commentary on wrestling in general. Just <laughs> there's someone behind the scenes telling them what to do in a match. It's scripted. One of my cousins when we were kids, he really got upset if you said that wrestling was, uh, fake. Oh, retiring? If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know? But after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget... Wait. Promise you... Promise me you won't forget you once new King, new King KGs. That sentence. Nothing wrong with it. Just brain derped. <laughs> it's nice that it lets you heal between rounds. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez. Fix him for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Rank 12. The Punk Rocks. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even one. Oh. But they're rocks. That's gonna be annoying. I guess I can use Quake. <laughs> this no take long. This end in pain for mustache. <laughs> That's a hyper bold cleft. Like clefts and bold clefts, this is also a rock monster. Max HP 3, attack 2, defense 2. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it up before it goes hyper. Yeah, about that. Um. Uh oh. Peel. Okay, we're ready. 
Oh, that's what it means by hyper. Should be enough, right? <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. See, that time it felt like a bit of a pun. One more and we're in the top league. Oh, he's retired. He wasn't kidding. bomb squad can't swap partners out okay that's fine I like sticking with her because lore you know I don't think I've fought the bombs yet for our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bomb Boomers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the B Bomb Squad. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have some advice. Just give up now, Bomb Bomb. Get yourselves ready to the battle! Oh, no, no. I keep I keep forgetting keep forgetting don't press the button <laughs> the button doesn't mean take the item I need to let it happen That's a bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah. Real smart. Max HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. The bomb will totally get mad if you damage it. They have like super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on the next turn. That attack really hurts. Ah, and if it gets mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer or hit it with something hard, like a shell. Okay, so she's not great at this. Try spin jump. That oh, works. Imagine I'm not allowed to use hammer here, that would suck. 
I mean, given random is random, it could probably happen. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. See you now, Biggie. He has a fight money of 12 coins. All right. I wonder if he retired because he wanted to go talk to the... It's quite lonely here without King K around, Bomb. No lonely, him too weak. Now not him not here, sound normal to Klefta. You are in Bomb denial, Klefta. I saw you weeping in that locker, but Bomb. Well, here you are, this is your locker room. Swooper? You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubber will then decide you'll, who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it at once? Walk up to the screen. <laughs> Same instructions, huh? Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a trip here. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba brothers. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and a meow. Any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Ms. Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes to get you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops you... Yeah, okay. we're reading the same thing. In this case, the condition is do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly <laughs> easy. If you satisfy the condition and when your rank goes up, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so when we get to 11th. Aren't we at 11th now? I think we're pretty close. Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sam Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. You, yes, you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, Bob. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to completely get destroyed out there. Well, dog my cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez, fixing for a fight. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hoo -wee, you're gonna love this. Your next opponent is rank 10, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make it a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go letting us down. Now listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to see your partner share their stuff too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. That'll happen. Paddle? Paddle will count, I think. <laughs> and now, today's main event of the Major League of awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez. But only he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless execution in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez. Gonzalez, kick their iron tails. Don't you lose, dude. Love that mustache. Hoo-wee, the Great Gonzalez. How you feeling? It's perfect, thanks. Oh, well, Nelly, you heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Good gravy, eye on the mouth. Whoa, are those spikes legal? 
Yuck, 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 your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. I and Adonis twins, he said, more like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then, he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, outy belly buttons, run in the family, stink wads. <laughs> and so on, yep. What? How does he know mum has an Audi, that jerk? We're going to go blend you up into a smoothie, pal, then we're going to drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. How oh, smelly stinkwads call... Only smelly stinkwads call other people smelly stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You, stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. These spikes? Yeah. They penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! They're gonna do it. We're gonna make the Major League if we win. Get psyched, Mario. Blah, 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 blah. Give up now. Well, Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. That was easy. Counts. That's an iron cleft. Scary. That guy's scary, period. Max HP, six. Attack is four. Defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against the iron clefts. There's nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Okay. Ow. Dizzy doll. Green shoes mean this one must be the youngest brother. <laughs> That's what's with this book? It says no attack will work. There's nothing as well as high, so defense is preventable. Okay, whack one with the other. This dude totally rigs it. Appeal. Damn, this seems harsh. Okay, well, if, if this doesn't work... Okay, that we need to stop. Time. Nothing. Wow, even that. The, okay. What, what do we do?
Is this a joke? Our attacks aren't working at all. This might be a good one to run away from. Really? But then we lose. So the winner, the Iron Adonis twins. Bah, how'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. Go on another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come back, punk. This is the middle of the story. Training montage. Seems very rigged. Hey, check it out. Little eggy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming. Or going for that matter. What do you think it went? Yo! Oh! Gonzalez! Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch safe and sound. Thanks, man! What? You're in that cute little eggy waggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Well, anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that egg, so I don't have one, I guess. You seem fired up about it, so how about you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Oh, we can name the Yoshi. What should I call the Yoshi? I almost feel like just... Like doing the bastardized version of it. Or, <laughs> whenever I need to name something that says it's strong, I call Ponis. Is Nintendo going to allow this or are they going to block me? Hmm, Ponis, okay. Not too bad, dude, not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Ponis. Yoshi's ability is a primer. I press X to ride Ponis. It will be much faster when riding Ponis. Try moving around. <laughs> I'm sorry. How old am I? While jumping, hold A to float through the air for some brief time. Use his ability to cross otherwise impossible gaps. You can stop riding Ponus by pressing X. That concludes the primer. Yeah, yeah, thank you. In battle, he can repeatedly bounce on enemies using ground pound move, or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. You hear that? Ponus inhales and spits. Gonzalez fixing for a fight. Uh, okay, then your next opponent will be uh, rank 10 in the Glitz Pits, the Iron Adonis Twins. Now, listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a good tag team and uh, they want to see your partner show their stuff too. Now, get in there, son, and put your partner to work. 
All right, I, I'm doing the voice for now. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, Bob. Put your bonus to work, son. Just make it get strong and mighty. That's how you train your bonus. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and uh, the armored Harriers. You have to fight to the finish with the Iron uh, Adonis twins. Uh. Let me at him, yeah. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard bots just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle! Uh, yes! Gonzalez, let me at them. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Synchro's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partners, if that's gonna help him. Press set R and release when it lights up. Oh my god. Yeah, you spiked me right in the. Oh, that really hurt. Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. He discovered our weak points. Joshi with hair is weird. Listen. That's why I called him Ponus, because he has hair. Very fitting of a Yoshi. Oh, yeah. Three off leveling up, really? Ugh. We have to go back to the minor league now, bro. I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez. With this win, you made the major league. Now that folks was a what I call a wild and woolly fight. A diggity damn doozy. Keep it up, kid, you're going places, I can tell. Ooh Come on now folks, give it up. We've got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for Gonzalez. Here's your fire money 14 coins. It's getting there. I have to level him up. Your rank ran up because you met the conditions. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grabber wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Oh. There might be more. It was rigged, wasn't it? We weren't supposed to win that fight. Mr. Grabber, I've brought Mr. Gonzalez as requested. Uh, Miss Jolene, uh, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubber. Don't you worry your pretty little head about none. Now, uh, what did I want again? Uh, something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Uh, let me congratulate you, son. Uh, Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep putting your turkuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. Turkuses. I don't know how to say that with this voice. Uh... I got a little special something something for you. Uh, go and take it. 30 coins. 
<laughs> so yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume is not cool. Uh, no big deal, son, but hey, uh, someday if you become champ, you'll need a new one. Something hot, pink, uh, maybe with some frills or something. Uh, you look a sight, son. Anyway, that's uh, something for another day, pard. Uh, take a powder, okay? I'm losing the voice. Mr. Gonzalez, follow me if you would. Is he telling Mari to dress up as Peach? Huh, maybe. Put on a dress and try it. You might like it. Oh. The GBA is pink. Oh, because the Major League is pink, I guess. You'll use this from now on. The match system is the same as the Mine League, but the bouts are harder. Why don't I get completely destroyed out there? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Ponus is ready to go. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! <laughs> Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? Yeah. You fit the bill, Skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you. Ha ha ha, what a waste of time. I don't like how he was looking at the star there. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champion's belt. What in the, hey, you. Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Thank! <laughs> hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy, no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Oh, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big, bad belt. <laughs> Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? That dude's belt has a fake crystal star in it. Then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, is that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? I love that his ringtones are just these classic themes. Again, if Nintendo was good at marketing, they would let people download these ringtones. Well, okay, they're probably good at marketing, but you know, amazing at marketing. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Who in the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belts are fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going on here in the glitz pit. Poor little guy. Ponus is tired. Ponus must rest. Nah, they've just given him a bunch of nicknames here. Like, he has no say in it. Like, they're calling him Gonzalez. I didn't come up with that. You're pretty tough, baby. But you're really gonna have to power up to win here. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. I 
I hope that got it. <laughs> I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Aha, uh -huh, that's alright. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. And then you tell your child to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Some people will get that reference. Others won't. Well, boy, the Gonzalez fixing for a fight. Uh, okay, then, your next opponent will be uh, ranked nine in the glitz pit, the tiny spinies. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let yourself get damaged at least five times, okay? It's just so dang boring when the match is too one sided. You hear what I'm saying to you? Now, get in there and kick some behind. Uh, um <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Picking her cause tattle. We need to be tattling. And we need to get let ourselves get hit, so Oh, it's these things. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzales, and uh, the Thorny Demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. I should probably stop now. Like, it's just repetitive. We, it's gonna be fun poking fun at you. When there's unique dialogue, I'll do it. Okay, uh... Battle. That's a red spike top. It's the most protected of the buzzy beetle species. Max HP 5, defense 3. Defense is a whopping 4. Yep, this guy is hard. It has a really high defense and fire and explosions don't hurt at all. If you can just find a way to flip it, it's on the side as a defense of 0. And that spike, what a pain. There's got to be a way to flip it over. Yeah. I wonder if you can swap partner with her. I mean, you know, flip them over with her. Let's use a peel. Didn't work. Calls and partners in the menu. That's awesome. It doesn't say Yoshi, it just says Ponis. Stop hitting my Ponis. I need to level it up. Right, so this is basically just <laughs> use him. That's what we're saying here. Ooh. 
Been a while. I am gonna go for HP this time. Yeah. Just get the feeling attacks are gonna start to get heavy, so yeah. And now you got. I'll see this way. I'll see this through to the end. Plus, it's getting me money and I was broke, so... This is fine. No jumping. That should be fine. I'll use Earthquake. It's not jumping. Oh, these things. Yeah, no, I have to use Quake. Hold on. Oh, no, wait. They're already identified. Yeah, this is straight. <laughs> this is just straight up. Oh, keep it. Nice. We don't need it. Okay, maybe we do need it. How dare they do that? Now see, it said don't use jump, but I jumped to use the power block. <laughs> I'm going to be number one. Oz, you hear that? You got another email. See what it is, man. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. From our mystery ex dude, go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Go some rest. Let's go, Ponis. Oh, you can't ride him through the door. This isn't going to get old anytime soon. <laughs> Wee <laughs> wee 
Why, if it isn't Gonzalez, I enjoyed your fight earlier. Yes, you thrashed that slout. I don't think you're quite raw core caliber, but you have potential. Keep at it. I want that blimp. I want that hot dog sign. And I want that battle poster. I can't say I approve of my little boy, Bob, witnessing these violent matches. As long as he grows up and takes over Globobington... Glob... No, it's Golbobin... Golbobington Corporation. Jeez. Golbobington. Oh, can you... Incapable of jumping. Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and the notes by the door a bit ago. They'd look for a thick stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. Super Hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to meet. Nice to see you again, Mario. Jeez. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. Now you could use a wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate until your body twists up. Then release to perform your super hammer technique. The key to rotate a lot before releasing B. Yeah, do it. Ooh, excellent, Mario. Awesome. Are you clear on the controls? All good. Okay, great. You've mastered the super hammer. Ah, these things finally. With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use your super hammer in battle. Plus, your hammer attack is power boosted now. Well, see you later, Mario. Good luck with your quest. So far as I could tell, that hammer is a new model, the Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around, solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time. Smash the blockade in the locker room, Max. The blockade in the locker room, huh? Well, what's behind it? I guess it's not allowed, huh? the poster of us now. <laughs> the Greg Gonzalez. Okay, so where's the other locker room? <laughs> ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got word that you somehow fell back to the minor league again. 
<laughs> Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go in. You're mining again? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, Mr. Stinkwad, what are you doing here? <laughs> Set of documents that go into detail about a lot of important stuff. Wow, Gonzalez! That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. He'd be investigating those things beside us. They even took pictures. The belt was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. He'd leave something like this lying around. This just reeks of funny business. You again? Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's harshly inappropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm? I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. We let her. Dang, what's with that? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the crystal stars here. It has been a while. Nice. Being a little lenient. Let's keep going. The Shell Shockers. I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Okay. So, Earthquake. I mean, it seems like every fight from now on, like, just favors using Yoshi abilities. Okay, maybe this one doesn't. The Turtles of Hurdle. Gotta do a tattle. That's a shady Cooper. It's yet another member of the Cooper family tree. Max HP 8, attack 3, defense 1. The difference between them and other Coopers? They can attack from their backs. That's not all. While on their backs, their attack gets boosted and they use a terrifying technique. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Coopers, eh? Uh-oh. This might be bad for business. Oof. No, not Dizzy Doll!
Well, let's just hope this doesn't affect. that point. Oh, wow. Didn't take him out. Got this. that flaw taste. Gonzalez. Rematch? Whoa, well, Nelly, I don't believe my eyes, folks. The I and the Donis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're going to pay for it. Ah, oh, a little tired from your match. Great stink quad. Too bad. Prepare for fame. Well, the difference is now. How do they think this is going to go? Mario will just raise some peel. Still hurts. Oh, yeah. Ugh, we lost after all that. We reek. <laughs> Who we? That's our great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Ionis Adonis twins barge in and attack. Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah. This kid is only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya! I got the feeling he's setting it up so we get taken out. Here's your fight money. You're ramping up because you met the conditions. If you'll excuse me, I must get going. I'm sure we can probably bypass all this. <laughs> Gonzalez, another email. What now? I love listening to this. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex-buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Alright, Ponus, you can rest. I want you to avoid dealing any damage for the first three turns. Jeez. Alright. Man, this dude likes rigging fights.
Oh, the fuzzies. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> Well, I can't damage. May as well do um, tattles. I didn't. This, this isn't damage. That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh. Max HP 5, attack 3, defense 0. This is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew. That's just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find that idea gross, seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. I hate blocking against these things. It duplicated, didn't it? Oh, good. Well, I know what that one does. Okay. Keep generating appeal, Mario. That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? Max HP is 6, attack is 3, defense is 0. This thing attacks by boinging and sucking out FP. How uncool, we need FP. Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Uh-oh. Oh, I just got it. It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks your flower points. Duh. I thought the fuzzy was casting a spell. Oh, good. Jeez, this is brutal. One more turn. Okay, we're going to Coops. Oh no, Coops is gonna get. Go. Oh, good. That was with a defense as well. Is it over yet? Finally. How many attempts did that take? Jeez. I finally got the full quake. There's a joke to be made about 
how those fuzzies attack and how they attacked upon us, but I'm not going to say it. Oh, there's a cake. Hey you, Gonzalez, Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. It's great, I'm not gonna eat it. No red flag. Gee, the lady that got us to get a note wants us to eat a mysterious piece of cake. Man, that looks awesome, I'm drooling. Heck no. What's up with you, Gonzalez? Who says no to free cake? You're killing me here! I do. Not when it comes from someone that, you know, is quite clearly trying to cover something up. Why do I need it anyway? It's not like I need health. Okay, I gotta end it quickly. Um, this might be problematic. I want to use Tattle, but at the same time, we got to end this quick. Oh no, there's three of them. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you fool, would do well to fear our dark magic. <laughs> I may fail this condition. Purely on the tattle. Okay, we're gonna appeal. I'm gonna try and go for the quake. Go for the green one. That's a green magic herpa. It's a wizard dressed in green. Max HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. It has magic attacks, so it can also use magic attack to make itself or its allies electrified or invisible. Oh, and also says that magic makes... It'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying, because when... Then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. So take it out first, but then... Why well, attack Goombella? Okay, um... Okay, um... I think we can do this. That's a red magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in red. Max HP 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. As it doesn't use anything to buff its defense, we're fine. Okay, it's invisible for three turns. That sucks. Go on you then. Wait, will Tattle work? That's a white magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Max HP 7, attack. Yeah, yeah. Attacks with magic and can replenish its allies HP. Better than hit it first. It also says it'll use magic. Oh, they all make copies of themselves. I'm surprised I haven't done that yet. I 
think I've gotten lucky with the AI here. Hasn't <laughs> healed them. Okay, well, let's just hope. Let's just hope. That this goes through everything, including invisibility. This is overkill at this point, but I want to do it. That's fine enough. Oof. Yeah, it didn't work. It's invisible. Okay, it just healed itself. That's fine. I think I can get this. Nice. No duplication. That was a good battle to get the star point bonus on. Mario! Oh wow, we have to do two fights now. Oh, it's Bowser. Whoa, another fighter storming and screaming his full head off about something. Gonzalez has lots of foe, foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street is that some mustached doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here! Talk about perfect timing, and now all these folks get to watch me murderize you! I'm going to destroy you! And I have witnesses! I'm going to eat the hot dog. That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. Max HP 30, attack 3, defense 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your health decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. So just focus on your attention on beating him down. Okay. What happens if he uses fire? Okay, Gimbella. You did well. Okay, Coops, do the appeal. Not enough, that's fine. Um... Coops. But Coops is a bit of a tank here, so we need it. I guarded it. Here we go. There was ever a time that I need to get this right.
Damn. That's okay. As long as I got to that round, I'm, I'm happy. It only did five. Wow, that's nothing. Okay, Mero. <laughs> Here we go. Expect nothing less from you, Mario. Because you'd get some licks in. Okay, um. Pip should be able to survive. No, we probably don't want to override status here. There you go, mushroom wrist. Oh, I can't jump. That's fine. And I think we can go all in now. This should do it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh! That's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough. You're too tough, son. And you're only going to get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. Here's your fight money of 19 coins. By the way, why didn't you eat the cake? Is the cake still here? The cake's gone. Now, uh, is that King Bowser? What was he doing here? That kind of freaks me out. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Since you didn't want that cake, I ate it. Best cake I ever had, man. Sprinkle, frostings, the works. You're an idiot. Really? <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the cake. Man, I'm just not trustworthy. I just don't trust. Just you wait. When I wake up, he's going to have violent diarrhea. Violent diarrhea! <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> Boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw daddy? No jump. Okay, got it. Sorry, Honest. <laughs> okay. The Dark Gatekeeper. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Well, we can't jump on him. That, that, that's great. I wasn't going to. I don't want Goombella to take a lot of damage, so...
That's a dark crawl. Yikes. What a ghastly like spear throw. Max HP. Wow. That's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on a spear if it's pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run of the mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. <laughs> Oops, is the one here. Nice. <laughs> I don't like his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just bloodshot. Well, oh. damn, <laughs> that hammer did nine. Yeah, I mean, go badge points. Get new badges in there. Mario became a B list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. There's no violent diarrhea. I guess there was nothing wrong with the cake. Your pocket is beeping now time. Go to the telephone booth outside of the pavilion. From X again, huh? Telephone booth. Pavilion? What does he mean? Outside. Yes, the phone booth that called me an idiot. This game isn't afraid to call you an idiot. Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. Ha 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 ha! Hey, who that guy thinks he is anyway, threatening us? Oh wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from Rockhawk. Well, anyway, one way or another, we need to be really careful from now on. Back to Ponus. Yes, Mero, right, Ponus. that opens the storage room. Go to the storage room next to Grubber's office from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude's really cheesing me off. Honest is cheesed off. Okay. save just in case this resolved this. I want to climb the ladder. Just 
So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Ms. Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hmm, fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. You! Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. We meet again, you husky mustache hunk, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know he hung out with crooks. And you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. Well, whatever. But you are a thief, right? Dude, hush! All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things, I'm jealous. Only you get it? Yeah, the mouse needs to kiss Ponus. Oh, I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Ow, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. Hey. But what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the switch to reach the attic from X. The switch? There's supposed to be a switch in here? Hmm. Yeah, poor Ponus didn't get kissed. Supposed to be a switch in here? There's no way to high jump. Ponus can't jump. I see. I needed to blow instead of use Ponus. Oh yeah, I have new badges. Hold on. Yeah, I mean partner slowly regening, that's that's great. I'll go piercing blow. Seems like a good move. Hammer! I've never played this game before, but you know... Naming my Yoshi Ponus. <laughs> it's working pretty well. Oh good, now I can make Ponus stronger. Oh, 
that's probably a really useful one too. So you didn't find the hair or hide in of nobody in the storage room. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grab, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Uh, ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Uh, thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Uh, hey, by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know about the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grabber. And so, I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all the fighters who have gone missing. Ooh, fighters have uh, sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth one this year. What in tarnation is going on? I've even heard some security idiots saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir. But I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about uh, missing fighters, it'll sure ain't gonna be good for business. No sorry. Nasty rumors have a way of spreading... Oh, sorry. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills. You know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubber. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I got to know, where in the world do you go, darling? Ah, uh, that's... Mr. Grubber, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, uh, didn't mean to pry now. Uh, how about this then? Heard of the Crystal Star? N no, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubber. Okie dokie, well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if this ain't a uh, fine how you do, seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa, did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude, that ain't cool. Was that guy talking about King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. Hey! Somebody up there! Who, Nelly? Just a little old mouse. Here I am thinking someone's up there uh, peeping. Uh, I got to relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Back to the ring. I can't do his voice for like extended amounts of time. <laughs> You'll get it during the major cutscenes. Wow. Oh man, we dodged the bullet there. Hey. But did you hear that guy blabbing about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. From now on, we better bail before somebody finds us here. Make sure I'm drinking water. I have my tea, though I do need a refill. I'm alright. Sorry, Ponus. Didn't mean to smash Ponus with the hammer. That must have been painful. Wait, what? How do we get out? Oh. No? I thought for sure that'd be correct. Oh, 
How do I leave? Well, here's the problem. I'm, it's, <laughs> am I an idiot? I tried jumping out. It doesn't seem to work. Unless... See, it's here, but like, there's a. When I jump, it hits a roof. Oh. Wait a minute. I forgot about this. Duh. There we go. Sideways paper, of course. I guess this is all we can do here for now. Oh. Gotta think in two dimensions. that squeezing in between buildings is a thing as well. <laughs> Damn, man. I was fully expecting the explosive diarrhea. Sometimes it's just delicious cake. GBA. You have to be in the mood for cake. Yeah, I'm not one for sweet things. I'll have cake if there's coffee. But even then the cake, I don't know, like, not large on cake. No special moves. Okay. Remember, oh wait, no special moves, no earthquakes, crap. I can use flower points though. See, I'd rather like, if I'm gonna have something that's sweet, like an almond croissant, I like those. It's the right level of sweet. Cheesecake is all right as well. But cheesecake can be super sweet. It just has to be, you know, good. Good levels of sweetness. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Putting him to sleep. Hopefully. Okay, one of them, that's fine. This is just to be able to get the tattle off. That's a boomerang, bro. 
this relative of the Hammer Bros prefers boomerangs. Max HP 7, attack 2, defense 1. He attacks twice with his boomerangs on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he'll fight all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Oh, no, this is not good. That's a fire, bro. Relative with the hammer, bros. Spits out fire. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? When his HP gets low, he gets desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. Oh, I don't like this. This dude's gotta go. Okay, no, I have to attack him with Goombell, otherwise it's going to get bad. Oh. Well, that's convenient. That's a hammer, bro. You know him. He throws hammers, hence the name. Max HP 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When his HP drops, he'll drop a hammer barrage. Dang, this book always skips the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? <laughs> Let's get rid of it. The multi bonk failed me. That's a great move. The fact that it ignores defense. Uh oh. I'm on fire. Paper being on fire is not good. <laughs> Oh, that, that attack is great. Well, your kids don't eat cake. So they want a birthday cake, but then... They don't eat the actual cake. That's frustrating. <laughs> Man. I mean, ice cream cake's good. That's a good compromise. I'm near the top now. Number three. <laughs> this is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the other two who have gone missing. Or the others who have gone missing. Great, our angry, angry pen pal again. He sure seems to have a lot of information. I mean, if he knows about the Crystal Star and the missing fighters, then this guy is totally holding the key to this entire mystery. But, like, who is it? Who? Do we have ice cream cake here? Not always. Um, you know, Australia was isolated from the rest of the world, so ice cream only made it to our shores in the year 2004, where John Ice Cream Tingsworth III uh, went overseas and discovered the magic of ice cream. As a child, I used to have a frozen banana. 
Yeah, that was that was our frozen treat. Just stick a banana in the freezer and then you just eat it that way. Yes, we have ice cream cake. Oh boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fighter. Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Chomp Country? Okay. Basically, anytime you had a McDonald's birthday, where they had a birthday party, McDonald's always provided an ice cream cake. The birthday parties I miss the most, which, you know... I, I'm gonna sound, sound old, but, you know, the kids these days don't know about. Pizza Hut birthday parties, man. They were great. You could eat all the pizza you wanted. But now since the Pizza Hut stores aren't the huts anymore, they're just like boxes, much like Domino's. They're just a box anywhere. They don't rent out buildings anymore. It's just, yeah. What ice cream places are popular? Uh, I mean... When it comes to ice cream, there's a chain, funnily enough, called Wendy's. Wendy's tried to open here. Wait, the cake! <laughs> what do I get? I feel like this is... I'm still paranoid about the cake, dude. Like, this has to be a joke. Like, surely... Ugh. No. I'm not- I'm not going to eat it. Wow, you like morally opposed to dessert or something? I could not say no to that. I'm not eating the cake. It's spi spidey senses going just I'm sorry. I don't I don't trust. <laughs> I, I have no trust. Um anyway, ice cream. Wendy's is like one of the big ones. But then there's just random ice cream stalls that are just small businesses. In, I don't know if Messina is, I think Messina is like nationwide now, but there's a fancy ice cream slash gelato place called Messina, and they do fancy flavors. They even partnered with Tim Tams to do like ice cream flavored Tim Tams. Um, but other than that, it's just supermarket brands and stuff. <laughs> Messina is fancy, but good stuff. Like if you're interested, Messina. No. Mainly gelato. But it's this. Their cakes are great. They had like those ice cream cakes. See, those are ice cream cakes right there. They actually have cakes. But if you want an example of a cake I've had before, we had it for an office party. It was really good. That's a red chomp. It's a rabid red biting, chewing, chomping full. Defense three. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we have a hammer that ignores defense. Just look at that color. It looks like someone painted it after a party.
It looks so sad when I hit it. <laughs> the ice cream cakes look so small. They're not that big, no, but it's because they're fancy. It's the quality over quantity thing. You wouldn't want it for children. Basically, it's, you know, controlled. I have Coops, because Coops is like, uh... Okay, piercing blow. That works. This might not do much. It did nothing. Oh, use a special move at least once. Okay. Uh, special. I guess we do that now, huh? I'll use Sweet Tweet, because then, you know... That's fine. I haven't used this in a while. Whoops. What? It's a, what happened to protecting Mario? That didn't really... Oh no, it did. Ooh, this is gonna one-shot. <laughs> it's going to one-shot. This is gonna be great. Do we have flying sources? Is that a brand or something? Or... I mean, maybe, but it might be called something else. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We did it, Mario. Not many fights left. Here's your fight. Money of uh, 24 coins. All right, sounds good. We're almost there. I'm taking the title. This ice cream between two cookies. Right, so it's like a brand. It's like a... The no, but you know, conceptually the food that you're talking about, yes. We have this thing called Maxibon, which is pretty good. Hang on. I think wagon wheels also do like an ice cream similar. We probably don't have the brand, but maybe the equivalent or something that's similar. Oh, look, what it, what's that? What's that? He ate the cake? Ugh, body went numb, stupid. Cake, hate cake, never eat cake again. Um, you know what, Mario? That cake was poisoned. We almost ate that thing, too, if we had. Jeez. We'd be in big trouble. Explosive diarrhea. Yeah, that's right. I was right. All is right in the world. My cynicism paid off. <laughs> uh. It's not enough to say diarrhea. I have to say explosive. It has to be explosive. Uh. 
The Koopinator. How is he ranked number one if he's not the champ? That makes no sense. I thought the champ was supposed to be number one. You know? Weird. That just doesn't seem right to me. Oh, this is number one, huh? I guess. The true warrior. Don't use items. Uh oh, that might be problematic. Well, I'm sure there's no harm in doing this. Ignores the fence. That's a Dark Cooper patrol. These guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? Defenses too. Max HP. 25 attacks, 5 defenses too. After it charges power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are just there to warn you how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get much sleep. Ooh, this is scary. I think we need coops. Oh, look at that. Stylish all around. And the jackpot. Uh-oh, that's a bad one. Doesn't have much health, but it should protect me for a bit. Okay, that's fine. Do it, Coops. Oh, that was even worse. <laughs> it still defended me, so that's fine. Can't use items. Okay, we uh, we got to uh, you know. How much health does it have? It has eight. Wow. I mean, kind of unlucky, but at the same time, talk about luck. Of, of all the things to happen, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> That's so good. Reversing the champ next. We won? Cool. Champ is next. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, another mail, Mario. What is it this time? Remove the Great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. Oh, okay, it's that X guy again. His messages still freak me out, but this is our only clue. The Great Gonzalez posters in the lobby, huh? We have to peel them off? Well, let's give it a shot. Alright. I don't know if I should fight the champ or go do this. I guess I could do both. I knew the cake, like, the cake, there's no... I bet that first one was poisoned as well, and it just made me feel like a dummy to not take the cake, so then I take it the second time. I bet that's all it was. The cake was always poisoned. Move the posters, okay. The cake is a lie, exactly. Yeah, man. I look very angry. Oh, there we go. There's the key. <laughs> Get to the second floor of the storage room from X. no easy way for me to know, like, where to ground pound. I don't think there's a visual clue as to when you can do it. Oh. See, I thought that was the same there, but then that wasn't it. I guess I should just do that periodically. Oh, these are for real. Okay, never mind. Wow! You gotta be kidding me. Andy, Andy, and King K, are they dead? Ugh. G G Gonzalez, listen to me. Uh, man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Oh. Come on, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean, don't go near the ring? Flattening? Can we help them? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh. Don't go near the ring when no one is around. Okay. Ah! And Dallas, you see that? That was Jolene. This is craziness. What's going on in here? Well, she saw us. Did 
Jolene, 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 Jolene. Guess what? Your next match is the title match! We Tom Tutin, you're up against the champ, Rockhawk! Now I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't let me down now, you hear? Now listen, son, there are no conditions. Alright, cool. Time for the championship. Hey, where do you think you're going, pal? The ring's this way. <laughs> yeah, uh, you go this way, because it's a special match. Hey, I don't want to go this way. Slow down, will you, buddy? Why are we going this weird way again? Stop. Don't, don't, I, I don't want to go this way. You two wait here. But this is a minor league locker room, and speaking of which, where is everyone? I know we said to wait here, but Mari, we're gonna miss a fight against the champ. Now for today's main event, the top dog of the major league, the great Gonzalez. Is finally going to throw down with the champ, the one and only Rockhawk. First to enter the ring, the Golden Grandstand, the Rockhawk. You go, champ. Rock him. Yeah, yeah, you go, champ. Yeah, rock him. Ooh, doggies, champ. Uh, how you feeling, son? Your challenger is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. <laughs> There's only one champ and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez wuss ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. Uh, what have you got to say about that? What do I have to say? <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Because now he gets rocked. Okay, they are like totally ridiculously late now. I'm going to find out what's up. No, don't. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mario, it's locked. The door's locked. We're totally trapped. And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to the great Gonzalez? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Ooh, what a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really and yell for and uh, head for the hills like a dog. I tell you what, folks, if he don't show soon, he's gonna forfeit the match. You know, he, this dude's probably like a cowboy or something. <laughs> but I can't do that accent. 
Mario, if we don't do something soon, we're going to forfeit that match. We got to get out of here. This is a minor league in the locker room. It's just as gnarly as the one we were in. If you check the lockers are behind the poster, you'll find some odd graffiti of us uh, busted up walls. I saw that. I meant to do this. Oh, what? Well, that's convenient. Drat, locked as well. Are we going to go into the toilet? Yeah! <laughs> We're the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. I request that we never do that again. Oh, we're in the Major League locker room. Quickly to the arena. I swapped. Actually, no, because we're going to tattle. Save the game. See, that dude's clean. He's not in on it. The moment you've all been waiting for, folks, the great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Wow, looks like we actually made it. And listen to the cheers, Mario. They love you. Come on, let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? Yeah, you the plumber. You're late. You're late, Gonzalez. <laughs> Just listen to this crowd hoot and holler for the challenger of the great Gonzalez. Will this hammer of hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock socks? Now at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Uh, let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle. Alright, that's the last time. <laughs> I'm going back to normal, boys. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. Ha 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 ha, you wimp should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What? What are you saying? Don't tell him it was you who got that security guard to lock us up. You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk that's been sending us some emails about the Crystal Star. I have no idea what you're babbling about. What's a crystal star? No, wait, I don't care. I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you're about to meet them all, baby. Prepare to be rocked. Okay, uh... Well... Until we find out what he's about. That's Rockhawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. 40 HP, attack, four defenses are alright, so... There's no defense. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty meh. One thing you should know is that Rockhawk never fights above the board. Callousness leads to lifelessness, you know? Um, well, uh, no, you know what, special, just get this out of the way.
Ah! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, good enough. I only did five, but that's fine. Uh, items. Yeah, go on, touch him, touch him. <laughs> Ooh. Time to hurt. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, uh... Wait, it's too early for hot dog. It's kind of a waste of turn to do that. I'll just attack, it's fine. Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swallowed, though, because you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. Damn. For Goombella. Okay. Big power since he has no defense. That's lucky. That's a rock. No, thank you. Hey, I hit the button. Man, I can't get the timing right on this. It's happened to me twice. No! I rockhawk the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers! Uh, uh. Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves the miracle. Technique versus technique, raw power versus raw power, a clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable, history-making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez, you're the champion, son. There we go. Give him a hand, folks, the new Glitz Pit champ, the great Gonzalez. Sweet. Well, you finally did it, son. Today is the first day as your first day as the new champ. Jolene, hand them the fight money. Here's your fight money of a hundred coins. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room. Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? Oh, but I want to save and heal first. No? Okay. <sighs> We're just going to do this, huh? <laughs> Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Yes, we finally did it, Mario. We destroyed him, but... 
You know, that Rockhawk really sounded like he hadn't heard of the Crystal Star. And I mean, even though we're champs, we're no closer to finding the real one. Hey, Mario, am I losing it? Or do you hear a voice coming from somewhere? Think it's a ghost? Well, turn the volume down on that thing. I almost screamed. Discover the true nature of the ghost. Wait, we have to find a real ghost? No way. This is the champ room. Yeah, this has to be the worst decorating ever. Like that tiger print bed. I mean, come on. Think Rockhawk designed it or maybe Grubba? It couldn't be Jolene. Think she likes me? Maybe. I like how the carpet looks in this room. Oh, we're allowed to rest, hang on. Heal, please. upon us. Oh. We are here. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a bit. First I let that King J idiot walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did to the others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, it's Grubber, so he's behind all those missing fighters. I better lock this room up tighter than peanut butter jar at a school convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide that paper related to that in the desk drawer. There we go, you know that though, since I'm thinking aloud out here. Good fighters ain't nothing to me. Ain't nothing to mess with, even Rockhawk lost to Gonzalez. This new chap might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. Party. I mean, dude's definitely a cowboy, but I can't do a cowboy voice. I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. <laughs> oh, you can't. Did I say dust draw? Oh, hold on. What that? Oh. Oh my, is that the paper Grubber said he did? Let's have a look. Mercy, a machine under the ring? Using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I can scarcely understand this paper, but I believe the crystal star powers it. If this paper's correct, then the machine can suck the power out of folks. Oh no, is it possible that King K and Bandy Andy were, well, drained? I can't do the voice. <laughs> My voice is tired. Uh, great galloping culprits. How in tarnation did you get in here, son? 
Adam. Well, slap me and call me a sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper too. I would not have been able to read this. You just shut your trap, sir. You drained the life from those poor souls. Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. Mario, darling, we must chase him down. Let's say from a law perspective, the jig is up and now he's using his real voice. That's the head cannon here. Well, howdy. <laughs> out of the way. No, I haven't seen him. I'm guessing we have to go to the ring. Go upon us. No time to waste. Say, y'all are a couple of slack jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. What's he doing? Oh, okay. Gonzalez up there. That's the crystal star, right? Ow, oh, you like my machine. Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby slurp. You're darn tootin'. And you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. You are such a scumbag. You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. I'll just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Muscle up! Okay. Macho grubber! Yeah, I'll grab a beef dump. Oh, wait, I'm gonna smoosh you guys into guacamole and smack on your energy, too. Smack on your energy, too. Sorry. Macho. I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle. But as long as I have this here machine, my butt will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Let's rock, Gonzalez. I'm ready to chew this dude and spit him out. Okay. Alright. You know the deal. That's Macho Grubber. He's Grubber all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Max HP 60, attack 4, defense 0. His attack pattern is simple. First he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers him up with all sorts of wild power up he moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered up himself. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he was just regular old Grubber moments ago. Guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Okay. Ugh. 
is it? Number of moves he can do four. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going for coops. I released it too early. Okay, the freezing doesn't work. Yeah, keep it spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son, because it ain't going to do you much good in the end. Ow. Oh, no, poor Coops. Great is we can spot partner. Okay, this. Oh no no! Ah, keep doing it. Sorry, Toad. I didn't need health anyway, so it's fine. But like. Change my mind. I'll do sweet treat. Damn it. It's okay. As long as I get more wow points, it's not really about health here. It's about the FP. Seven flower points, it's good. I wonder if we could dizzy dial him. It did work. Cool. Ha! Good work. Power smash. Okay, this is going well. You're not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But in this here battle, it's just getting started, and it's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal.
Oh no. He's no longer dizzy. Seriously? How how lucky am I? Or is that scripted like it's supposed to happen? Superstar. <laughs> he just kept dizzy the well. Just a normal hammer. It should be okay. Yeah! Ugh. Oh, and bonus XP. Let's go. Dude, that's a whole level. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna go badge points again. They've been quite useful. Uh, no, how did this happen? How could the perfect bot like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great Gonzalez, great fight there, son, great fight. Ugh. Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my thanks in earnest for defeating that foul grabber. Jolene. I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd done anything for me. My family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubber transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. So then the mysterious ex who was sending us those emails. Correct, it was me. But once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubber. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubber! I want answers right now. Why did you do my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Uh, Prince Mush, yeah. He discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. Uh, I had him uh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, he ain't around these parts no more. That's dark. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. You know, she came off all uppity, but she was just a girl who loved her brother. Well, Mario, check it out, the Crystal Star.
Oh. Whoa, is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I, I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over, finally. Wow, the crystal star can do that? Now, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Wow, for real? We can just take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, you heard her, Mario. Grab it. Oh, yeah. The Power Star is now four, or well, Star Power is now four, and Mario learned the special move, Power Lift. And there we go, that's the end of chapter three? Or four, no, four, fourth chapter. Glitzville's seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Mrs. Jolene, Mario revealed Grubber's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubber. Grubber had used the power of the crystal star to run his power-draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? Alright, and we get, like, the Princess Peach bit. Beldam! Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Yes, well, sorry, uh, but only because he's tougher than we first thought. <laughs> you do understand that we ex noughts must open the thousand-year door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, although I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. That's <laughs> away, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Uh, duh. Hmm, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore? Oh my, that must be tech again. Always have to do this. But then the moment she steps out the door, it just back to normal. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought on 
issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to my room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? That's a great face, by the way. Like, cutting that out and making it an emoji. <laughs> Just a, a very disappointed and skeptical face. I like it. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to ask, Grotus? I want you to ask... What are we asking him? Suspense. Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh! Is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Please just wait a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach, after leaving the elevator, please head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. Imagine we can't deviate. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Hmm? Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Ah. Ugh. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Ugh. Who knows how, but I barely got into it. I can barely breathe through. Although, I can't read anymore. It's like past midnight. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's suddenly shorter. I bet I look perfect. Yep. No, that, that's how that works. Height altering disguise. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Sir Grotus? <laughs> yes, what is it? Speak! Ah, uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, x not Perhaps. I have a throat lozenge. No. Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in her room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We ex knots need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. No, no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, uh, whatever, uh, p p please excuse me.
Ugh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Ugh, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. Tech! You terrible machine, your, so your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. That thing's humongous. Everybody, hide now! Save yourselves! <laughs> Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something, your rightness? <laughs> uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. <laughs> hey! Did you see those little bite sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. Oh, I'm playing as... okay. Yeah, yeah, it's this guy's big and, and bad. He's large and in charge. Ah, you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petunia, your big brother is here. We'll get through this. <laughs> oh, it won't open! Wait, how'd I do that? Yeah. There's another one here. Be gone. Zeal, uh, one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers you want our crystal star. Ha! Huh, see, I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us! 
How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone. I am the great puny elder. Ha, ah, my heart. Don't start on me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Eh, Lord Bowser, it looks like you're just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, you, Elder Hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm, <laughs> Hag thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. What? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Marty Ho. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call it, Princess Pinch? Uh, yep. He was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio, and it's Princess Peach, not Princess Pinch. But your senility is beyond, beside the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all, treasures, princesses, because he's great. Never end. Ugh, that jackal! Both Princess Peach and the crystal stars belong to me! To me! If I find them, I'm going to finish them off once and for all, I swear it! So, now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck! <laughs> Gonzalez, I wanna tell ya, Rock Hawk is not gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back. Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met, and if you ever need it, I've got your back. Me? I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grubber's out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the uh, Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You'll have tons of fan, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? Travel safe. Yes! We have three crystal stars now. We're rolling. Let's head back to road, Port Mario. Um, I just want to see something. Before we head off. Now that I'm the champ. Well, hello there, you savage, surly start of a man. You're fabulous, dear. Pardon me. You quit being the champion. Whatever for. What a shame. And I'm afraid I have no need for you anymore. I'll soon have myself a new champion. Don't you worry. Toodaloo. Good luck getting a champion. This is the same. <laughs> Don't welcome any time, then get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way. I'm welcome any time, am I? Then get out of the way. Liar! Liar! Uh, 
there's nothing to see here. Alright, I just wanted to see if truly it was over. It is over. Now that I am rich... Sucked up on hot dogs. Uh, there's a souvenir shop now. I wonder if there's one of me. Temporarily makes a party member dodgy. They're hard to hit. Yeah. Okay, it's not really a souvenir shop. So I have. N I'm not sure I can get this at the moment. There's no way to hit this yet. Oh, the lady's gone. Hmm, okay. I wonder if there was some sort of story with her. Why are these so temperamental? There we go, jeez. The next cheap blimp is bound for the town of Rogueport. Would you like to board? Yes. Everything looks in order with your tickets. Please watch a step as you board. This is a nice scene. <laughs> Gotta have honest with us. Dallas, you got an email. <laughs> I love this this ringtone. The thing is, it's so it, it's not just verbatim the theme song; it's just perfect. Uh -huh. Dearest Mario, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the X Nots, they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and are trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what the treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can, Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world. That would stink. Dear Princess Peach, I'm currently busy playing with Ponus. I will attend to your request as soon as possible. Yours truly, Mario. I'm just think if I can squeeze between buildings. It doesn't look like I can squeeze between these ones. Oh, it's Ouija. Cherry bomb? Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plump Belly Village recently. 
Oh boy, I got my hands really dirty on that one. I tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Oh good, more shitty Luigi voice. Okay, well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once I made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plant Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. Instead, the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked good. I fooled our foes and got in his as lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chiffon really chafes, bro. I finally found his uh, And the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. I reared up, fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I deftly lunged left. Remember, the L is for left on my hat. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished into a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot, and that's where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and pointed it east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. He was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, still, we had to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Huh. I kind of zoned out there. Um, yeah. Uh, we set sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rockport. And here I am. Okay, bye, shitty Luigi voice. <laughs> Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I am a babom from Plump Valley Village. Nice meeting you. So sorry I sound down, but you would be too if you'd seen Luigi Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. He was like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking over things, tumbling into people. Now, I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area if Luigi so much as glances at a stiletto. Somebody has to be the herald of the coming wobbly pop- wobble apocalypse. That's what I'm um, sticking close to this guy. Okay. I feel like I should be doing this more often here. Oh, you know what I haven't... Hold on. I haven't checked. Since I'm, I'm here. That way I don't have to think about it. Did I win? There we go. Last three numbers match. Nope. You did it. How happy. You won the fourth prize again. Just a mushroom. Which I, I guess. That's fine.
I love Luigi in the Paper Mario games. <laughs> just... I don't know. He just falls into things. Alright, you know what? I'll leave it here. Because then, when I go place it on the door next time, it'll give me clear instructions and I won't have to try and remember them. Alright, well, that'll do it for tonight's Paper Mario session. Hope you enjoyed. If you're watching this later on YouTube as well, hope you enjoyed as well. I'm gonna give my voice a rest. <laughs> I think I've done enough reading. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel over on YouTube where the VODs are, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking those videos that pop up at the end, or checking out any of that content on the channel. It does help out a lot, so yeah, thanks to those that do that. Really appreciate it. But, uh, we'll continue this probably tomorrow, provided my voice doesn't, uh, die overnight. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>